So I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy, supposedly he was from England, and I speak fluent American, so there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. Ow, stop biting my toe. So, um, I was talking to him about, like, this game I wanted, because I was hoping he'd buy it for me, and he, it was The Sims 3 Generations, and I really wanted that expansion pack for my Sims game, and... He said supposedly he wanted it too. And, um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? And he's like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So apparently there's a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. So a bit of a language barrier. We went over that jump. But the thing I'm wondering is why does it weigh so much? That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's like... I don't even know. Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter. So, like, if you know the solar system, America is, like, in the middle. And, um, England is, like, um... It's the, it's the closest to the sun, I think. Um... So maybe there's a possibility that, um, there's a difference in, like, gravity or something. So, like, 15 pounds is actually really light in England. It's just so confusing. I'm not good with planets, but, um, I think that might be it. <laughs> Earth, we know it spins once a day. Yes, thank you. Three people know that how long a day last year. Good for row number two. They're off to a great start. <laughs> so... Uh, so, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. Yeah. It gets wider in the middle. And So, Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's, an, it's oblate. And officially, it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. So, it turns out the pear-shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. Oh, I, uh, I think I can smell shite. <laughs> yes, I can definitely smell shite. That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's like... I don't even know. Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter. So, like, if you know the solar system, America is, like, in the middle. And, um, England is, like, um, it's the, it's the closest to the sun, I think. Um... So maybe there's a possibility that um, there's a difference in, like, gravity or something. So, like, 15 pounds is actually really light in England. It's just 
so confusing. I'm not good with planets. But, um, I think that might be it. Alright, bye everyone! Of the magnets. You, you see, if I can move it yeah. on the side, it will again pivot around the axis of the magnet because it makes sure that uh, the magnetic field inside of it stays the same. Right. It's astonishing. Can you put it on the track for us? Yeah. I just levitate it above the track quite high and I can just rotate it. So it's actually floating above the surface. Yeah, it's not floating, it's locked above the surface. So it could you could tilt it as an angle and it would yeah, still fly around. Yeah, it could around. like this and it will just go around like this. You could just go and put it at different height and then like this. And lock it at the height. Lock right. it, yeah, different height, different configuration. Right. And I can even lock it at the uh, opposite way. If you could just hold for a minute. Okay. I I'm doing the same so thing, hang I'm locking down. it upside down, and then it is suspended. Fantastic. I appreciate the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody.
much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.